Hello guys and welcome to this Excel and SQL Server video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write data query language command right inside the Excel Power Query Editor that will append all the rows and columns of tables from our database in SQL Server. I'm going to swipe over to the SSMS, that is the SQL Server Management Studio. Now, in the Management Studio, I can see this Sales Data Database. And of course, I've got three tables. Now, I actually want to work with the Sales 2015 and Sales 2016. Now, upon writing a simple select all statement, I can actually fetch all the records from the two tables. Okay, so we can see it is displayed here. Now, I'm going to swipe over to Excel and then I need to access the Power Query Editor. Now, to do that, I'm going to create a dummy table in form of a query, which I'm going to modify to write the SQL command using the odbc.query matchup function in the Power Query. So, I'm just going to type any value in the cell and then I'm going to right click and click on Get data from table four slash range or come to the data tab and then click on from table slash range now that's going to prompt me to store the data in an excel table which is the right convention to import any data into the power query editor for cleaning and transformation so i'm going to click ok and then that's going to open the table in the power query editor in form of a query now what I'm going to do is in the applied step here, I'm going to just uncheck this changed type in order to be able to access the source and the M code here. Now I'm going to just clear this M code and I'm going to type in a function called odbc.query M function. Press the tab key, open parenthesis. Now this function requires two mandatory or compulsory arguments or parameters now the first one is the connection string and the query itself now the connection string is going to be the data source name so i'm going to type inside double quote dsn and dsn simply means database sorry data source name and that's equal to sql server and then i'm going to put in a comma now for the query so i'm going to put that inside double quote also i'm going to type in select star from the i need to specify the name of the table however when you're writing query to access any table from the sql server and relational database management system particularly you need to specify the name of the database first so i'm going to type in sales data which is the name of the database that is very important so let's come back to excel and then I'm going to put in a comma. So I'm going to type in DBO, that is the database owner. Dot. Then I can type in the name of the table, which is sales 2015. I'm going to use the union all command to append the sales 2015 and 16 without removing the duplicate values. Okay. Or if I use the union only, it's going to get rid of the duplicate value. But I want to rethink the duplicate value in both tables. I'm going to type in union all. You can type it in small letter or capital letter. It is absolutely not case sensitive. So union all. And then I'm, I'm just going to copy this again in order to save some time and paste here. Okay. So I'm just going to change this 15 to 16 and semicolon. Okay. Now this is going to be the query odbc.query and the data source name is equal to the SQL server and then this is the portion of the query to append all the rows and columns from the two tables now I'm just going to click on this check mark and then we can see the output which is amazing I'm just going to grab these two columns right click and choose remove columns and then I'm going to grab all the columns in the transform I can see under the any column detect data tag okay now it's able to detect the text text and code number that's fine but let's change this to proper date data type and then i'm going to replace the current step and that's amazing now let's say i actually want to extract the year from the date column i can come to the add column tab under the from 
dates and time i can click on this date just year and then year so it's been able to extract the year i'm just going to reorder it and position it around there and of course i'm going to give it a meaningful name so i'm going to say combined um sales 2015 and 16. so click enter and that's it so let's go ahead and load into the excel worksheet for further analysis like using the pivot table using charts and so on and so forth so close and load i want to close and load tool and then we can see this import data wizard now let's just go with the new worksheet click ok and then you can see we have the data set combined of course we'll be able to stack them 2015 first followed by 2016 so you can see 2015 and 2016 now i'm going to come to the sql server management studio and let's union all so i'm going to type in union all, and don't forget to get rid of this semicolon that's very important so grab the query click execute and then you can see when you scroll down you're going to be able to see the 2015 and 2016 so this is basically how we can write the sql query right inside excel video if you do please like share comment and spread the channel thank you and bye for now cheers